spoiler alert, are you ready for a behind the scenes look of the latest episode? Make sure you're all caught up on the new season of Little People Big World. It's always fun to see you guys, really. And so you're gonna meet the I grandbabies, mean, great grandbabies. Uh, hey, hey, remember Papa? Hi, Tori, hi, Zach. Hey. How you doing, sport? In the new dream house, we're really looking for like, okay, if we had all the kids over and all their kids, over, all my grandkids and all Karen's family over, well, you know, what does that look like? How many people do we need to send? Do we have room to, to do that? And Karen's like, well, remember, that's only gonna be happening once, maybe twice a year. Um, so you don't wanna build a whole house around having 20 people. Well, what you don't see on the episode is that even in the small house that Matt's in now, Zach and Troy will pop over, and now they've got Lila and Jackson, and then um, Gerald pop in, and then Audrey will bring the two kids over and see what they're doing, and Matt's parents happen to be in town. So without planning anything, we've got, how many is that? Yeah. Right. Eight, 10, 12 people in a small space. Yeah, and then Brittany and, will come. And, yeah, and Brittany will drop uh, by, my daughter. Yeah. And so I think we're just really excited about having a place that everybody can be comfortable. I have a very small round table, so you sit across from somebody and you can hear what they're saying. You get to a table that seats ten. You you're having a conversation mm -hmm. with the person next to you. You can't hear the conversation. So we want to we want to really be able to figure out how to keep things cozy and tight. And so we're trying to keep the house small and manageable, but at the same time be able to accommodate um, what's looking like we might have quite a crew of grandkids. Here I am in front of my new house. Do you have any happy place in that house? Our chair area. He likes his chair. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's just, you know, that's where we, we talk and, mm -hmm. you know, share the day and, you know, we have coffee and then we yeah. have our cocktails at the end of the day and <laughs> talk about uh, what happened that day and what our plans are for the next day. And I love both. it how he says... We'll, we'll, we'll have our cocktails, yeah. our cocktail, yeah. instead of, oh, we'll have a drink. <laughs> no, we're having our cocktails. I yeah. love it. I think that whole great room, dining room area, because, you know, the kitchen's right there. Chris is sitting in his chair. And we don't have a table between the chairs, so we're next to each other. So when she does this, I can do that. <laughs> it's like, here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Aww. She's not enjoying being outside very much. For parents that are bringing their LP babies to the doctor, I think it's super important to ask your doctor, comparing the child to other dwarfism charts, oh, yeah. not comparing your baby to the general chart. Mm -hmm. So making sure your doctor is aware that there is dwarfism specific literature out there. Who's better behaved at an appointment? Let's say it on three. <laughs> One, and two, two, three, three. Jackson. Jackson. <laughs> Jackson, though, is exceptional to any kid, though. Every doctor, dentist that he has seen. They'll come in really, like, gentle, like, I'm gonna yeah. use this stethoscope Does he on need you. A sticker and, like, beforehand? Yeah. Like, no, no, no. And Jackson's do it. literally just like, what is that tool for? Let's yeah. see what you do. Let's with do it, it you know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Lila, on the other hand, not so much. She's a little. She's worried. still a little young though, but yeah, she doesn't like to be touched. She's like. Oh, when she got her shots, her first yeah. shots, she. Oh yeah. Lost her mind. We have been, we have been in rooms that we can hear kids like next door screaming, and Zach and I are just like, "What are they doing to that kid? Like, yeah. why are they screaming?" And then they gave Lila a shot, and we're like. That's what they did oh, to yeah. the kid. Like that's what's happening next door. Lila is super funny though. She's so emotional. She's like so she, emotional. even at such a young age, she really does. She, her feelings are hurt. Okay, yeah. she's feeling pain. And her cry is and so her... sad. <laughs> oh no, no, no! Oh, you don't need to cry. Jackson likes to like hug her and then he'll kiss her. But then he still doesn't have that like. It's funny that he'll too. He'll lean into her and he'll like, like oh. ask me like, "Mama, like I want to hold Lila." Like he'll ask yeah. me to hold her, so I'll set him all up on the couch and yeah. get him all ready, and he'll hold her, and he'll hold there for like three seconds, 
And then he'll slowly start, like, just slipping his hand out <laughs> from behind her and, like, moving yeah. away from her. Yeah. He makes sure she has all her toys when she yeah. is upset. Lila's sad. Baby Lila Ray's sad. Yeah. And then, like... And she loves him. Like, yeah. loves him. He'll, she, he'll, like, poke his head in her car seat, like, just stick his face right in her face. And he'll... She just lights up. Like, she yeah. just loves him to death. Agreed.